eight rows. Unfortunately, guys, I wasn't able to get that heat rock. Ugh, the dude changed his mind at the last minute. But I have found an alternative. Simple, I just heat up my soups and in a big bowl, I put them on the ground. I mean, I put them on my table right here. And heat just goes right to the heat source instinctively. So that's how he gets his heat. I also warm up hot water and I put it there and he'll just, he'll stay there most of the day. Won't move. As if, oh, he's got a little companion for now. I'm keeping this guy for a friend. He doesn't seem to mind him there because I've heard that the geckos can be territorial and don't like other geckos in their cage. But again, he doesn't seem to be. Doesn't seem to mind him. He's been here three days. Doesn't seem to mind him at all. He even shares the, the crickets. I'm not sure what sex the little thing is, so... Main reason I haven't named that little gecko yet. Then when I can think of a name for the little fella, I'm up for anything. Hey, Spike, I mean, Spike. Um, Chip is doing really well. He's still pretty healthy. Likes his cage, which I just changed the other day. Um... Uh, Think about getting some better bedding, because I normally just use, you know, um, chopped up grass. But a couple of friends have told me that's not really healthy, because it could have dangerous mites on them, or something like that. So I'm going to have to uh, buy some bedding. But I'm not sure what kind of use, because I don't want him, when, he, when it's feeding time, I don't want him to eat the stuff. Eat the bedding because that can, he can get sick from that. That I know. That's why I haven't gotten any bed right now because I'm looking for stuff that he can't accidentally eat when he's hunting for his crickets. Let's see if I can shake up those crickets. Some that are. There we go. Oh, they're not over there. They are there. Ah, there we go. Come on, Jip, for the camera. I always seem to get him until... I don't seem to always get him until after he starts eating. Perhaps I should have put the crickets in a separate cage and just, like, wait a few days, and then put the crickets back in and see if he eats them. Oh well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please smash that like button. Subscribe and leave a comment. Oh, if you want me to make even more updates for Chip here and his little friend, let me know in the comments below. I am always up for new ideas. Now, I have... 
I have purchased some more material for making the new cage for him. It's in the works and I got a friend that's going to help me build it. It's going to be about 5 foot by 3 foot I think or 5 by 5. I can't remember but you guys will see it when it's finished. It's going to take a couple of weeks to build if not a month. Because we got all the nails, the screening, uh, the plastic underneath, and some metal wiring for the top. Other than that, that's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.